In this demonstration, we'll have a look at how we can configure Outlook web app options and also policies. Now, Outlook web app allows me to access my email via an Internet Explorer or a web browser. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come into my Exchange Admin Center. And the next thing we'll do here is we'll just come down to our Servers tab. Right On our Servers tab, we have our Virtual Directories. And if we have a look at Virtual Directories, one of the things we can see here is we can actually see the Outlook web app Virtual Directory. So if we have a look down here, what we've got is we've got Outlook Web App Directory and we've got it for Long Cas 1. So what we'll do is we'll just highlight this and we'll just click on our little edit button. And if we go in the edit button, we then have the ability to come through here and just set up various things. So one of the things we've got on the general page here is just general information. We can see our internal URL. So what I'm going to do here to allow my external users to access their mail is I'll just type in the name of the external URL as well, which in my case is mail.adatum.com. Right, we'll save that off. And then we'll just click OK. And then if we just edit it again, so we can have a look at some of the other settings. So we've got the authentication tab. What we've got here is we've got the authentication format. So we've got our standard authentication methods here. So we've got basic authentication. What we're actually using here is we're using forms-based authentication. So in order for my users to access Outlook Web App, they have to type in for example, a datum backslash April, or we could use the user principal name, so April at the datum .com, or we could specify she only needs to put her username in and specify the domain she logs into. If we have a look at the features tab here, so we can show the features that the users have access to. So one of the things I don't want my users to be able to access is journaling. The other thing I don't want them to be able to access is themes. And if we just look at more options as well and scroll this down a little bit, we've got a lot more options within here. However, I'm only bothered about turning off journaling and themes. So again, we'll click save. All right, so now we'll save that off. We'll just edit it one more time. And this time we'll go for file access. So what we're seeing here, if users want to attach attachments into their email, what we can see here is select how the users can view and access these attachments. So we've got public or shared computer. So this is where we decide to click on the public button. We've got direct file access, and we've also got the web ready document viewing. So we can have a look at things like Excel spreadsheets within our Outlook web app session. So what we're going to do here is we're not going to allow our users direct file access if they come into public or shared. But what we do, will do for private computer, we will give them direct access and also the web ready document viewing. So again, we'll save this off. That's right, so the next thing we'll have a look at is the policies that we can actually apply to users. So rather than do this individually, what we can do is we can override all of the default settings for our individual users. So what we're going to do here is just come to the permissions tab. And then within the permissions tab, we'll go to our Outlook web app policies. All right, so let's just create a new web app policy. So we'll just create a new one. And what we'll do here is we'll call this one um, our external users policy. Right, next thing we'll do here, just for our external users, we'll clear the instant messaging. And what we'll also do as well is clear the text messaging. What we'll do is we'll scroll down here, just go to more options. And within more options here, what we'll do is we will clear the change password. And for the public or shared computers, we'll clear the direct file access as well. And one more thing that we'll do as well is we'll just scroll back up and we'll also clear the recovered deleted items. So we'll save this off. Now we've done that, we need to apply it to somebody. So what we'll do here is we'll just come up with recipients. We'll go for Adam Barr. And then what we'll do with Adam Barr is we'll apply that Outlook Web App policy to Adam. So we highlight mailbox features. What we then do is we just scroll down. And what we're looking for here is email connectivity. We just view the details of Outlook Web App. And what we're going to do here is just browse through. And we're just going to attach him to the external users policy. And then click OK. Click Save. And click Save. So now what we've done is we've modified the way that Adam will actually get Outlook Web App and the features he will have. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.